But if you want to actually repair the hit points, um, it costs a thousand per hit point. Uh, but seeing as you're at Westwind right now, um, and you guys are a Westwind ship, and you do Westwind deliveries, and you're also remember you have a job to drop off right here. So wait, yeah, you guys could get paid right now. We could. We have a delivery here. Yeah, and then a, a maybe repair some stuff, and then we have a, a, two other deliveries. Yeah, you have a fairly important delivery here. Yes, we do. like it's like a data server with like confidential information for Westwind. Yeah. Let's um, do it. Can we go back to the sector guide? Uh, sector yes, I'm sorry. Three. Yes, yes, yes. That would be beneficial for everybody. We don't need this anymore yet. Okay, here we go. Cool. Uh, congratulations, you guys didn't die. Yeah. That was that was about exactly the difficulty I was expecting it to be. So it was perfect. Hit you with the easy one and then hit you with the hard one. Um. So Don't great. Do <laughs> Your contact for the data server is actually listed as a um, uh, agent Grayson. That's G R A Y S O N. Uh, and you're supposed to meet with Agent Grayson, and you guys would know based on Westwind, like someone who's called Agent is typically someone of the higher up the chain in Westwind. Uh, for whatever particular reason, maybe they deal with you know, maybe they're like a manager of a you know particular part of Westwind or. Uh, you know, maybe they deal with some very, you know, sensitive stuff, but if they're if they're named agent, they're pretty high. Uh, so you guys are set to go, like, make contact with Agent Grayson and uh, deliver the the goods, basically. So who would go do that, and what would you do, and who would take care of what once you're on the station? Because, again, uh, another thing you know, just to clear everybody's head as well, um, it would take the entire weight of uh, the Kuchera Syndicate to make a run at this station, for sure. Like, uh, Commander Hartfield wasn't lying when he said that. It would certainly take more than what you saw. So, you're you're in safety right now, just to be aware for everybody. Yeah. But you can treat that however you want, whether or not you believe yourself to be in safety or not. Um... I think that Oscar, just to make sure nothing, just because it's such an important delivery, yeah. Even even on the station, he's gonna insist that he goes with the physical thing to make the mm -hmm. the the delivery. But I think he also, um, He's still not sure that leaving Oha completely alone on the ship is a great idea. Yeah, so the data server is is large, like you could carry it there, but that's that's probably not protocol. Like somebody's probably going to come retrieve it. So if you wanted to like hang out in the cargo bay with it, that's totally okay. While okay, while so somebody else goes and meets with Agent Grayson. In in that event, then I guess yeah, he would stay on the ship. Mm -hmm. Sure. I would go find Agent Grayson. Okay. What about you, Gogo? Are you looking into thinking, repairs? Yeah, I would just be talking to the mechanics and then the guys who would be eventually fixing the ship once we pay them. <laughs> I'm yeah. just trying to give them the, the to, you know, expedite the process. Like, yeah, and the other thing is... Things that are going on, I need you guys to do this, blah, blah, blah. And just yeah. make sure that Chan stays out of the way. Yeah, you see these smoking holes <laughs> in my ship? If you could repair those, that would like, be great. Like, right about here, you know, where there's a massive gap yeah. in our hull. That'd right, right. Be... Uh, so... Yeah, and like I said, and also... Uh, Keep yeah, keep Chan out of the way of certain individuals. Yeah, so so like be like, hey Chan, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go hang out in my my room while these guys come over here and fix the ship, Just, okay? Like, for a while, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, so also remember that that the actual act of repairing this much damage to the ship is going to take time. 
as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, which can obviously be montage, and we can figure out what everybody's doing during that time, but it will I've, certainly... I've got stuff we need to do here. We, yeah. we got time to kill. It will certainly take time. So, as you arrive, um, well, you know, as you're dealing with all of your respective things, I think that uh, we'll start with Oscar. I, I, I stopped talking, so... No, no, I was talking to Gogo. Oh. Uh... <laughs> We'll start with Oscar. So, Oscar, you're like, are you sitting in the cargo bay with like the shipment, just making sure that everything's fine with it, and just kind of hanging out? Um, yeah, I think he's just kind of like I said previously. I think he's um, just with the delivery, waiting for them to come on board and and do that. Um. Yeah, and I think that Oha is there with you. Uh, not that she feels like she can't leave your side, but I think she's just content to be, you know, where among, you are among right other, now. Among other Shriek, rather than... Yeah. Um, also, there was probably, like, a brief conversation, like, where are we going? And then you said the West Wind, and you could tell she knew about how these people feel about psychics because that's a pretty open thing uh right with this planet and with the not specifically the westman corporation obviously but like the locals uh and so she the, the local flavor yes yeah she's content to kind of be among her kind right now and i think that while you guys are kind of just sitting in the in the relative like semi-lit cargo bay um she she says to you in sriak she says you're quite casual with your crew captain and she says that last word with a question mark at the end casual uh, i contribute as i'm able certainly no captain Fortune owns the ship legally, if it has to come to that. But I'm no good with guns, and Fisher's better on the computers. And you might have noticed, God help anyone, tries to touch the steering wheel. Not much left for me. Try and coordinate things. Yeah, I think I think she she kind of nods and she says, "Yes, this go go character. I think we will be having a talk later. I am intrigued. She would be good to keep <laughs> around." He, he Oscar Oscar chuckles when she says "character," like like you don't know the half of it yet, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think she so says she would be good he, to keep around. I think that if an empire is what you wish to build, skilled pilots are needed. Don't disagree. Haven't spoken with her about it yet, but hmm, fortune at least. He might be interested. And what are his loyalties? Fortune... Fortune does fortune, near as I can tell. Arched eyebrow smell. I try. I gotta yeah. get it in at least once a session. I'm yeah. gonna say yeah. that's no matter who who's using it, like that can be used for anybody now. Yeah, Chan. Um, you've hit your quota. You're good. Uh, no, um, it's, it's still actually but, funny, so I don't think I have. Yeah, yeah, he says. Um, <laughs> He, he says fortune is fortune keeps his own interests uh, and he, he um, like <laughs> god how would he phrase this <laughs> he says what he says is I've tried to make keeping 
the rest of us alive as attractive to fortune as possible. <laughs> and she she says, "Huh, a dangerous ally then." Mm. Well, an ally though, and yes, I, and we all know how many allies have never turned on their friends. Still. I would call him a friend. That is different than an ally, I think. Just need to understand his motivation. I think that we should clarify that, yes. And this... I heard speak of... another crew member. The one that I heard in engineering. Who is that? I believe the name uh, Chan was used? And she kind of spits or, it out in... She yeah. probably spits it out in basic because it doesn't have, like, a a representative term in Sriek. Or Jan, or Chen, or <laughs> Shen. Yeah, or... Well, or, yeah. <laughs> Jian Jian. Or Jian Jian. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Great. Uh, anyhow. <clears throat> he says, uh... Chen... Chen is... Under... Gogo's protective wing. He does what he can, but he's had a very difficult life. And it's I think difficult to understand if he has motivations beyond uh, his conditioning. I think she says she's like a Gogo is too young to have adult children. This is confusing. Is she perhaps much older than she appears? How does the saying go? She does burn the candle at both ends, but no, she is not old enough to be his mother. <laughs> then a sibling, or perhaps lover. Sibling so to speak. I'm afraid I do not understand, but I will have to inquire further on this of them, it appears. And this Dr. Fisher. We could say, he says, um, think of him as an adoptive brother to her. Indeed. And Dr. Fisher, he is skilled, but not a physician, from what I can tell. Although he does appear to have a strange understanding of the Sriak anatomy. He's patched me up enough and is a quick enough learner. It's not surprising that he's become proficient. Hmm. No, he's not strictly a doctor, but in practice makes up in enthusiasm what he lacks in formal training. Then where is his formal training? He's a more recent addition. I don't know the exact details intricately, so so to speak, but he had training on Yuri Pylos. To be honest, I think anyone that comes off that planet has some degree of medical ability. That is concerning that you do not know your allies, as you call them. I will find this out. Perhaps I will relay the information to you. Oh, I prefer to learn about people through action. One can describe themselves any way they please. Interesting. And she kind of, like, says interesting in a way that, like, indicates the end of the conversation. She is no longer further interested in talking unless you start something. No, I, I think that's... It, if she is bent on, uh... You know, it, if she wants to go speak with the crew, speak with the crew and get all the, uh, you know, salient details... Oscar's not going to tell her not to do that, but 
yeah, I think he he's content that he's um, said his, you know, said his piece. Okay. Uh, and I think that relative silence probably falls over the two of you, and we uh, we probably flash over to uh, Gogo and Chan. You probably like are checking on Chan while the the men are perhaps walking around the engine compartment or whatever. Um, and uh, where would you where would you keep Chan while these men are men and women are walking around looking at the ship? Um, I mean. I'd probably scurry him away to my room or wherever he okay. feels most comfortable to hang out for a while that's not the engine room. Sure. Yeah, so so you <laughs> You re- know, I wouldn't command him to go any specific place unless Yeah, you return to your room and uh I think Chan is probably like um he's sitting in the dark, right? Cuz the lights are not on. Uh, cuz they're probably like motion activated, right? And it's clear yeah, he's been he's sitting sit long enough. Yeah, yeah, he's been sitting still for long enough. So when you enter, the lights kind of come on, and he kind of like holds his hand up, and he's sitting on the floor like across from the door, seemingly like kind of lost. But in the hand comes up, he kind of, kind of shakes, and he goes, uh, "Oh, yes, uh, go go, hi, hi. How are you feeling, Chan? I didn't really get to ask you after the fight. You you did a great job, by the way, keeping everything going." I will be honest, it was quite stressful. I believe that is the term. Although, stress is an interesting concept. It is something that... Something that we feel? Feeling, yes? Gogo nods. She's like, yeah. Since people firing at you will do that. (laughs) Is that what they were doing? All I know is that there were many sparks and... Well, there were... At times where I had to perhaps uh, do th- some things that would not have been suggested by the manuals that I read. Um, and I think he, he like, reveals his underarm. And you can see where, like, a patch of skin, probably from his elbow down to the mid-forearm, is, like, burned and cauterized. And he just kind of, like, holds it up, like, seemingly nonchalant. Hey, let me see your arm. And I think she kind of like just walks over and kind of grabs his, his wrist to take a look at his arm. Yeah, it looks bad. Like maybe second pushing third degree burns. Chen, do you... I mean, you, you could roll a tech med check to see if you actually identify it. That actually is probably what I want you to do. Uh, with intelligence. They look like burns, you know, like I said, uh, more than just blisters, less than like the skin actually falling off. Chen, does this hurt at all? She like goes to kind of poke his arm. (laughs) Yeah. And he kind of like cocks his head to the side and he's like, no. Well, all right then. And I think Gogo is like internally freaking the fuck out, but obviously she's completely trying to be like, oh, well, okay, you know, it doesn't look that bad, you know, trying to keep uh, Chan from having a meltdown, as it were. <laughs> so she just kind of like puts his wrist down so that he can lower his arm and just kind of sits there. <laughs> yeah, I think he just like looks at it for a moment and then just kind of like lays his arm down uh, and uh, stares at you again. He goes, so, um, I must ask, why were we in a position in which there were people um, shooting, trying to intercept the ship? Well, fortunately, it seemed like we were in the wrong place at the wrong time, Jan. We got caught in the crossfire. It wasn't really on us, but uh, we looked like a good target to them at the time. What Should is, be okay now, though. What is crossfire? You get caught up in the... Cross, sorry. Um, <laughs> That's not how the song goes. <laughs> Should be. Uh, I think that she kind of like stares at him, like she's never had to explain that type of thing before, and she's like, "Well, one group shooting at another group, and we're in the middle." But which group do we belong to? Are we a third group? Technically speaking, 
We're at with the second group, but that remains to be seen. Yeah, and he like pulls out his compad and he kind of like scrolls through it and he goes, "Did we win?" Mm, I think that also remains to be seen, Chan. If you mean win that we made it out, then yeah, we won. There are dis- there are different classifications of this. Different classifications of win. Yeah. It's a kind of complicated term. <sighs> and she's, like, clearly digging herself into a bigger hole of trying to explain things. As yeah. Well. Yeah, and then, I mean, that's how typical conversations go with Chan, right? Like, uh-huh. Yeah, uh, she's it's, used to it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like that. So we probably we probably see that for, for a little while. You, like, running through what happened and him absorbing the information as he can. Um, and I think just as, like, a stark reminder, every so often he kind of, like, itches the underside of his arm. Like, he kind of just, like, scratches it a little bit, like you're picking out a scab almost. And then kind of, like... Uh. <laughs> yes, Matt? Yeah, I think he goes to do that, and I think that if he does it enough, like, obviously, subconsciously, he's yeah. doing it without really thinking about it, I think that she would, like, just... <laughs> kind of like when you do that to a dog, when they keep itching, and then you, like, put your hand on them. To, like get them to get, stop like a <laughs> spray bottle of... <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so i think gogo just like put very without like she's probably still talking right like yeah not really acknowledging i think she just puts her hand like on his and just kind of like lowers it and continues to talk like doing what she's doing yeah totally um and so yeah we probably fade out on that and we fade in on uh fortune <laughs> You're looking at your compad, right? And it's got, like, this convoluted set of directions through this office complex to find Agent Grayson. And you've probably been wandering around for, like, ten minutes already and, like, had to ask, like, three people where the hell you're supposed to go. Because it's not like being out in the wilderness where you can, like, identify where stars are and shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's it's very confusing. And so, finally, you you arrive outside, um, and it says, uh, Agent... Uh, it says Agent Grayson on the little name placard outside, and it's like a glass window. It's actually like a corner office, too, probably, uh, that looks out into space, probably at the planet right now, uh, okay. which is this kind of, like, greenish, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, from the sector guide. Uh, it's kind of like this this greenish... Uh, what the hell? Where are we at? It's, like a, it's like a greenish, bluish... Like yeah, yeah, dark, that, that planet. It's a dark planet. Yeah. Um, but it's basically that shot right there, right? Like, in the picture. Like, uh-huh. the 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 star is rising over the side, and, you know, it's kind of bright, but, like, the the shutters have kept it, um, you know, darker in here, so you don't blind yourself with the, you know... Yeah. Solar rays. Uh, and... Behind the desk is a, is a woman uh, who's in, like a, like, a stiff kind of starched pantsuit. Um, and, uh... She's got, like, a blouse and a blazer on, and she's, you know, typing away at her computer, uh, and her door is open, and so, do you just, like, you know, knock or whatever? Yeah, I knock. Yeah, you knock, and she looks, and she's got her hair, like, pulled back in, like, a tight bun, uh, and she goes, Ah, oh, yes, come in. What can I do for you? Um, we have a delivery. Hmm? And I, I... Sh- I give her the paperwork. Yeah, you give her the order number or whatever, and she looks at it. She's yeah. like, oh, very well. She kind of, like, looks at you and then continues typing. Ah, yes, I see. Very well. Well, let's let's get to it. And uh, she pushes back her chair, mm-hmm. uh, and you realize she's actually in like a motorized wheelchair when she does that. Like she doesn't, she doesn't like push back her old chair. Like she just rolls backwards and like yeah. comes around. Um, and oh my God, it's Bar- Barbara Gordon. <laughs> yeah, right. That was my immediate thought. <laughs> it's the Oracle. <laughs> uh, it's actually Professor X, if we're being honest. Um, <laughs> that was second. <laughs> yeah and uh she she rolls out and you can see she like she like grabs a coat down off the hook and i think you realize now that everything in the office is just a little bit lower to the floor like you didn't mm. notice when you walked in yeah but now you notice everything's just like 
just within like arm's reach if you were sitting down. Um, and she grabs a coat and she kind of like throws it over her shoulder deftly. Um, and, uh, and you can see she grabs like a, um, she grabs like a, a, a holster, like a, a harness. And she kind of like attaches it on the inside of her, inside of her coat. And you can see it has a weapon in it. Um, and she kind of like straightens her coat. Uh, and then she pulls out, uh, this chain from around her neck so that, and you can see there's a badge on it. Um, and obviously it's a demarcation of being an agent of Westwind. Uh, and she's like, very well, lead the way. Uh, we walk out. I head back to the ship. <laughs> Did you just say we walk out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to catch you in that just once. Uh, yeah, that's I'll, okay. I'll never do it again. Uh, so you you head out and she's behind you and again she's very like no talking. Uh, not that she doesn't seem approachable and like uh, you know able to communicate. It's just she seems like business. Like, all business. It's just, we need to get there, get done, I have a lot of shit to do, let's go. Um, um, I'd probably, while we're on our way, I'd probably ask her, like, do you know who I'd talk to about... Nah, never mind. I'll just talk to someone at the front desk. Uh, yeah, she probably says, um... She says, well, what exactly is the issue? Well, my ship was reported stolen. But it wasn't stolen. And Westwind said that I reported it stolen. But I didn't concerning. report it stolen. How secure of you are you? How secure are you of your identity? I thought pretty secure. Hmm, that is a concern. You should perhaps to check your records, make sure that nothing else yeah. has popped up. It'd be very yeah. hard for someone to fake being you. Yeah. Well, someone also made a ship payment for my ship, which is also strange. I think she probably like does that thing where she like looks at you and she's like, "Yes, making payments on ships is strange." Okay. Yeah, probably like this conversation <laughs> happens in the elevator, right? Like on the way yeah. to a different level, <laughs> and then it's just like <laughs> awkward for the rest of the ride. Um, yeah. And then the boom, and the door opens and she wheels out and you lead the way down to the the dockyards. Um, and I think once you get into, like, the dock where your particular ship is, is stationed, uh, she kind of, like, looks and she says, bit of trouble on the way in. Did you not hear about... You probably didn't. We're probably the first ship back. Or close to it. Uh, there's a war going on up above us. Yes, as much as clear. We flew through it. Well, that seems like a bad way to fly. Eh, we were kind of caught... It started while we were there. I think she, again, she kind of like looks at you and is like, yes, being in the middle of a war that you are not intended to be is a bad thing. Yep. Oh my god, we have to hook her up with Chan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and they so... They never stopped talking, but the conversation would go nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Circular. Or, or they'd uh, never talk, because right. they don't know that's, what to say. That's more likely. Yeah. Um, they don't so, know who, what to bring up. So they arrive, and, and she heads up the ramp, and um, Oscar, you see you see this woman roll up in her in her automated wheelchair. Uh, it's actually probably a grab chair, to be honest with you, um, because this is TL4, and Westwind has a lot of tech. Uh, so it's probably a grab chair, actually, that kind of just hovers like a little bit off the ground. Um and uh, she comes in and Fortune behind her, like, pointing in the direction of where you're at. And she wheels over and she looks at the two of you and she says, hello. Hmm. Oscar politely nods. Yeah, and I think Oha goes, greetings. And she goes, hmm. well, I'll perform an inspection and uh, make sure that the item is not damaged. Um, and she, she begins to, like, she pulls down the cloth that was covering it and, like, kind of does a, does a little search around, uh, looking at it physically and then pulls out a, a strip and you can see that she hits a couple buttons on her, um, on her chair and a data slab, like, pops up and, like, lays down in front of her and then opens up, like, a laptop, so it's, like, at her lap now. Um, and she plugs it in and just...
All right. Seems everything is in the clear here. And you can see, like, she's, like, reading over the lines, and she, she's like, yes, everything seems to work well. Closes the data slab, unplugs it, and she says, uh, I'll send a message. It'll be removed within, she looks at her compad, 20 minutes. Feel free to keep guard on it. All right. Um, who pays us for this? And I think she just smiles, and she goes, you may check your account. All right. I check my account. Yeah. Uh, so the the account has been credited with um, 15,000 credits. Is that some hazard pay? Right. <laughs> Freddy McFright face is covered for next month. It's supposed to be 10 originally, right? Yes, it was. Okay. So you said it was 15 what? 15,000? 15, 15,000 credits. Okay. Um... Hey, does I'll that just... mean that we finally get paid a we little do. bit? We do get paid. Does the crew actually get money? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the math here real quick to figure that out. Calculator. 15, zero, zero, zero. Minus... Nine, nine, two, eight. Five thousand divided by. I'll do four, even though he's not here. <laughs> we all get paid twelve hundred and sixty-eight dollars. He'll never know. He'll never know. <laughs> all right, twelve sixty-eight. I'll add that to Doctor Fisher's. Uh, but also remember, you're gonna have to pay some money to fix the ship too. Yeah, like, well, it's it's, that's, that's it's gonna come possible. Out it's possible yeah. she may have like done that on purpose because you told her about like coming through the the battle or whatever yeah but it's hard to tell with this woman she is business uh you said 1268 correct Dr. Fisher. he's gonna be so excited when he comes back holy shit he's got a lot of money what in the fuck so, so why <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. god i'm the only one who's so broke uh, I think Matt's pretty broke. Yeah, Matt doesn't get paid ever. <laughs> well, not only that, he already spent, like, 10k of his own money on, like, a fucking badass item, so... Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna pay to keep people alive and the ship running. Which, to be fair, has saved his life probably 20 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been a good investment. It's a very good investment. The return on investment has been invaluable, but... You know, you can't earn credits if you're dead. Hey, Jordan? Yes. Uh, what date is it right now? Uh, it is still technically uh, the date that it shows, the 5th of September. Okay, because I'm just going to... I didn't realize there's a last maintenance thing here that I have not been keeping up with. So it said the last time we got maintenance was 3rd of That's included June. in the price of... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's been updated. But yes, no, uh, every time you guys I'm, I'm pay... Updating. Yeah, every time you guys pay uh, the ship loan, that's included in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's just, it, it wasn't showing, like, I wasn't updating it, so I'm just, up, I'm figuring we're, we're paying now yeah. to get the ship fixed. September. So today's the last maintenance date. Yeah, seems good. Um, so, are you indeed paying the, the 7,000 credits it requires to get the ship fixed? Is, is that everything fixed, 7,000? Yeah, so it's 1,000 per HP. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like, you can still, f like, you could get the stuff flying for free, mm -hmm. but you would yeah. also be at 13 out of 20. Good yeah. Points. Um, would, would I be able to talk Fisher into doing Habsies with me? Uh, you know what? Fuck Will. Yeah, sure. Or do you want to wait till he gets back to talk? Uh, about he's got, I mean, he's got... 7257. I mean, I've got 9838. He'll, he'll throw in 2000. How's that? Okay. That way, and basically, he just didn't make any money from the sale you guys just made. Okay. <laughs> I'll cover yeah. the other five then. And and Fortune stole his plasma rifle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to fix it. Maybe give it back to Dr. Fisher already has all the toys he needs. Maybe. Dr. Yeah, Fisher maybe give it back. Already has all the toys he needs. Okay, the uh, 
the 7,000 to fix the ship has been paid. Okay, cool. Uh, so it is going to take a couple of days to, like, get that all squared away. Um, I think it's going to take three days to actually get the ship fully functional. So be, I would I would address the crew eight. and let them know, like, hey, we got some free time on planet. This is a good planet to have free time on. Go, <laughs> for, go find for stuff. The, for the normie humans, yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. No, um, I, I will just um, not... I, I will have to make sure not to use uh, any overt displays of psionic abilities. Yeah, so... Well, so the, I mean, I don't know. We're on the west when they, they probably see everything. Um, here, right? So, like, the weird thing... That, or I shouldn't say the weird thing. The interesting thing about this particular area in 0308 um, is... Excuse me. They are afraid oh, of... Oh, psionic sphere. Yeah, they're afraid of psionics. That's right. I forgot about that. But they're also xenophiles. So they don't have a problem with Sriek, and they don't have a problem with Ta with Tan. Mm -hmm. They have a problem with psychics. So Yeah, I forgot about that. You know, to the point of they they're assisting in a war for the Tan against other humans. Like, they're xenophiles, but, you know, they just... They don't really like the heebie-jeebies being able to yeah. break people with your minds and shit. So, yeah, they have no problem with Sriak, as a, on principle, at least. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you guys have three days. What is there anything in particular um, that you guys want to accomplish? I, I would like to find out who paid for my ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Fortune's going to try and figure out who paid for the ship. All right. Uh, should be relatively easy, as long as you talk to the right people. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem, I guess, is so, finding the right people. What about you, Austin? With, um, we, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to... If there's more that you wanted to, like, actually do right now, go for ahead of Devin. Um, I mean, I'll, I need to talk to people at Claris, and I guess I could... Well, I could send a, a message to Claris, but mm. I'd actually... You I could probably find somebody here from Claris, to be honest. Uh, I, need, I need to talk to somebody at Claris, not from Claris. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll actually go to Claris at one point. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably on the agenda. It is. Of things after you make enough money to not die. Yeah, which... Which are kind of there, really. I mean, you've got... I mean, we're up a month on maintenance fees. Mm -hmm. you're, up, and... you're up through October now. And everyone's... Well, and we got the money for October's payment when that comes due. Yeah, that's what I mean, through October all the way to yeah. November. And everyone's got a little bit of pocket money. So and we I have think two more jobs right. to drop off. We do. Well, one, well, one of them won't we're get not paid, getting paid but, for. Yeah. But, Sarah, know. Sarah's already been paid for. Yeah, it kept he you alive, already. all of you. Yeah. Yeah, you got paid in advance for that one. I did. <laughs> uh-huh just making good yeah um so what about you oscar what do you what do you think is is there any plans for for you on soren i can uh i can give you some details of like the planet if like you well, want to figure out what's going on there we're, we're really close to the system where um all that presume all of uh that stuff was happening with natalia's business with a cause uh-huh you're very close to that so i think oscar is going to i think i've tried to reach out to natalia's contacts previously but i don't know that i ever got an answer um so and yeah so two things are important here um yes there's that and you didn't get an answer but kind of on purpose um you just don't know that yet. And in addition to that, uh, there are ta the Tan refugees are located here on, um, I think I said it was the fourth planet uh, in this system. Mm -hmm. They're kind of living in their ships right now because it's an uninhabitable planet, but they're like located in orbit. It's where they're kind of like their base of operations is right now. Um, so, it might be a place you could get information on that particular thing, too, because arguably all of that is interconnected in some way. 
Yeah, I think Oscar wants to speak. Oscar has some other motives to speak with the Ton also. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, um, so yeah. maybe like he would put out, you know, if he's oblivious to the fact that maybe he's being ignored by Natalia's contacts, even though she assured him that this was the way to go with it, he'd probably just, you know, repeat the original message, say, you know, update whatever he sent them originally with, I'm yeah. in 0308. Ignored is word. a strong word. Well, it, I, either way, he hasn't received the response, mm -hmm. and it, it's important enough to him that he would probably, like, follow up yeah. and, like give a situation report a of rep. sorts in case anyone is actually listening. Yeah. <clears throat> so he would definitely, he would do that, you know, send it off to the same party that Natalia had pointed him towards originally. And he's also going to see who he can get in contact with, with the Ton. Okay. Uh, Gogo, what about you? Um, well, I think I would have immediately brought Chan with his recent developments to Fisher. Yeah. <laughs> to be extensively analyzed and notes taken, mm -hmm. <laughs> etc. So that would probably take a bit um, of time. But um, I think that also at some point in terms of downtime, she would have just sent an email off to somebody basically saying that uh, don't disappear in the next couple of days, I might need to come talk to you. Uh, that's somebody f uh, that we talked about? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, those are really the only two major things that I... All right. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll save that interaction with Fisher until he's hopefully here next week. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. And it's kind of important for him to, like, to get yeah. what he wants yeah, yeah, to yeah. do with it. So, so that's totally fine. I totally get that. Yeah, I'll, I'll save that so that he can have his reaction because it will be genuine surprise because he won't have heard what I just said. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so it's great. Uh, although he is actually pretty good about following up when he misses sessions, so... We'll see. Uh, moving right along to... I think that... Let's start with Fortune. Yay. Uh, so, Fortune, you go to the administration offices, right? Like, it's, yeah. a different, it's a different complex from where you met Agent Grayson. And mm -hmm. you go to the administration complex, and it's basically like Space DMV, but molasses. And so, like... You get a paper to go over here to this office, which gives you a pass to go to this part of the waiting line, which gives you a code to go scan in to this waiting room, which gives you a uh, case number in which somebody who is basically the sloth from uh, that movie with the animals, I can't remember it right now. Zootopia. Zootopia, <laughs> yeah, who types that into the computer. Um and then the computer has to, like, process for 20 minutes or whatever to figure out. Like, it's an all-day affair is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so by the time, you know, maybe you're, like, tired and frustrated and uh, finally um, you're called into, like, a, a little, like, one-by-one -one cubicle that is, like, open air, right? So, like, you can hear, like, tons of other people talking and, like, it's all kind of smattering yeah. together. Um, yeah. Yeah. And this guy who's probably balding, um, you know, has loosened his tie because it's the end of the day. Uh, his sleeves are rolled up. Uh, like, the remnants of his greasy pizza lunch are, like, in the garbage. But it's one of those tiny-ass garbage cans that doesn't fit a whole pizza box. So it's kind of just, like, shoved in there. Um, he's probably got, like, a, a coffee cup that's, like... He kind of, like... He probably, like, checks it and just, like, ugh, fine. Okay, um... Arthur Fuller, yeah. So, uh, what did you come in for today? Uh, well, two things. One, my my ship's 
this month's payment has been paid, but I didn't pay it. And and also my ship was reported stolen, but they also said that I reported it stolen, but I did not report it stolen. And it's not stolen. Well, should be pretty easy then. You get a free I month's... will reiterate this is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he says like you get a free free month loan, sometimes it happens, the computer system is shit. Uh, and uh, it's not stolen, so I guess that's good news. Anything yeah. else? Well, did it say who paid the ship? <sighs> Hold on. Uh, it says here... Uh, there, there's two people on the, on the ship, yeah? Yeah. Uh, looks like the other partner paid. Probably... You know, should know that since you own the ship with him, or her, or whatever it is. Spe speaking of of that other person, um, he he no longer resides on the ship, and and he probably needs to be taken off the lease. Well, I'm gonna have to get authorization from him to do that. Mm, that's probably not gonna happen either. Well, then he's probably not gonna be taken off the lease. Well. I would suggest maybe he's, you don't actually let the ship get stolen, and then maybe he won't, I don't know, be stuck with it. <laughs> um, well, he is, he's hes pretty much dead. Well, that sucks. Do you have a death certificate? No. Well, again... Because the, the body not... can't be recovered. So. Huh. Convenient, that. Well, unless I get some paperwork from someone who can actually prove that. Uh, again, don't get the ship stolen. And then... Doesn't really matter. Again, it's not really a liability to you whether or not he's on it. You know, unless he does something illicit and gets caught and then his assets get seized. Uh, and then in that case, he's not dead, I guess. So, hooray? No, no, no he's, 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 okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Uh, oh, wait. What's that? What's... You're, like, getting up to leave, and he's like, huh? <clears throat> huh. Interesting. Looks like your ship was what? reported stolen, but it's interesting here. How do you spell your name? Arthur Fuller. A R T H U R. Or huh. E R. U R F U L L E R. Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's, it's <laughs> fine. Uh, you're sure there's an H in there? Well, it's not Arthur. It's Arthur. Yeah. You'd be surprised. People have stupid as fuck names sometimes. Uh, yeah, it looks like. It was reported stolen by an art her. A name doesn't come up in the database either, so I don't know. It's weird. That you ever misspelled weird. your name before? <laughs> I mean, other than the thirty seconds ago, no. Yeah, seems like there might be a problem. Uh, well, I mean, you got your ship right, so it's fine. And I see yeah. here there's a, a clearance code. Commander Hartfield says confirmed not stolen, so we should be fine. I don't know why you All right. that. Well, thanks for the information, and sure. you have a wonderful uh, day. He gives you a finger gun. He says, you too, buddy. <laughs> I give him a real gun and say, all right. No. <laughs> um... <laughs> um I, I leave and head back to the ship, and now I have more questions than, than <laughs> I did before. <sighs> yeah, totally. I've um, got someone I need to find now. Yeah, among, you know, a dozen other people. Yeah. Uh, so, Oscar, uh, you are trying to get it. You, you sent a couple of messages, and you're probably just, like, hanging mm. out one day. And... The uh, maybe you're just like lying on the bed or you know meditating somewhere, and your compact goes. Bloop, bloop. 
like looks the, as combat. The message receive notification. You kind of, you know, you, you pick it up and you look at it, and it says, uh, "It's like a it's an IM versus like an email." So like somebody directly contacted your compad. Um, and it says, can you meet? When slash where? Uh, I think it just says ASAP and then gives you star coordinates. Um, and you, you run them through the system and it's a small, like, moon that is orbiting the fourth planet. Um, in this system, in the the Najia system. Hmm. Yeah, he he. Um, he responds and he says, um, "Ship took damage. Soonest would be three days." Uh, I think you get another am. It says, "No good. I'm sending a shuttle." Bam, bam, bam. Huh. All right. Uh, yeah, he he would send a message back with their, um, you know, his physical location. Yeah, and so, would say so waiting. It does the thing on IM chats where it gives you like a little error symbol, and it says this user does not exist. <laughs> okay. Been real, guys. Um, and I think Oha, who's been like watching from the corner, she goes, "What was that?" Hmm. I have a trip to make. What are your plans? I think she. The smell of sarcasm is almost overwhelming. And she goes, I am at your will. Hmm. Your will is your own. <laughs> yeah, and then I think there's like a little hint of anger in there. And she says, do not... Uh... We, we may have inconvenienced you by bringing you all the way here, but I made it plain to you. You are no captive. Hmm. Will your friends you be joining us on this be? trip? Mm, I don't expect so. Fine. Someone just make sure you do not die. You are useful still. <laughs> he, ch he, he chuckles at that. He says... Uh, I suppose it is good that you think as much. Don't push your luck. <laughs> um, he says, uh, yeah, I will inform the crew. They're free to come if they wish, but I suspect I will... <laughs> I, I suspect they will decline. Okay. Um... She kind of probably just shrugs and uh, heads off. And she's, she, like, she walks a few steps and then she stops. She turns and she goes, By the way, there is something I didn't ask about. There used to be someone else on this ship. I can feel it. He was one like us. Not Sriak, but gifted. trainer he's here briefly to help in my development yes, no longer yes. though he yes. got off some time ago disappeared without saying much she says yes the quarters they have residue but not the type in which most would discern Whoever he or she or it was, I don't know if I trust the 
feedback I received from it. Hmm. All right. But he was confusing, to say the least. But well, yeah. if you have any other thoughts about him, I am all ears. I think she chuckles and she says, "Yes, I feel a great many things are confusing to you, Oscar, but." We will work on that with time. Then I think she Thanks. proceeds to walk off. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He leaves it at that. He leaves it at that. Yeah, it's one of those, like, you just shake your head. Like, it's not worth the argument moment. Oh, no, that that lady's right. <laughs> Oh no yeah. Argument. So it, it's the it's the it's the nod and like yeah you're you're probably right on that yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I can see why you say that, uh, and I think that that's probably a, a good place to fade to black. Uh, the game, indeed. Yeah. Game. Uh, experience. Yeah. Oh. Everybody gets seven hundred fifty experience. Congratulations. Me like. Congratulations. Uh, and next week should be lots of fun. Lots of stuff to, to get out of the way. 23. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people to talk to. Indeed. Lots of talking to go on. Indeed. Um, thanks for showing up, guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. This game has been... I always do this. I go through, like... I get all these really, like, super awesome ideas. Thank you. Uh, and then I prep, like, all of this content, and then I realize it takes us, like, five weeks to get through. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, and then I get lazy, because I don't have to prep for, like, five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and then, when it's time for me to prep again, I get to, like, the day of, and I'm like, oh, shit, I never prepped anything, ah! Uh, so, needless to say, there's, there's a lot of storied content, uh, in the next couple of sessions. Uh, judging by the pace of this, but um, overall, I I think the space combat went stellar today. Yeah, uh, I still think that that is like the space combat is an example of how awesome this game is, like more so than the ground combat even. Um, so. I mean, we did get back up though. Had we not gotten back up, it might not have been so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But, like, I love how the resources went down, like, to the wire. And it was like, yeah. shit, like, this is, it, it adds tension, both for me and for you guys, obviously. So, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like space combat way better than I do. <laughs> yeah. There'll there'll still be regular combat. Don't do worry. Reasonably well with space combat. It's true. It's true. I feel more useful. Whereas I just get my. <laughs> I, get, I get my. Yeah, I, I usually just get my face beat in until <laughs> circumstances dictate our victory. <laughs> and then and Gogo dodges insta death. That's basically yeah. the extent yeah. of ground yeah, combat sometimes. Awesome. And and I just shoot I people sometimes from really far hit away. things with my rocket launcher, but only sometimes. And most of the time I'm hiding, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Dr. Fisher's running around in, like, five different directions, like, getting shot, stabbing Oscar with stims, like, I feel like he's Stabbing the most... other people with icicles. Yeah, I feel like he's always, like, the most frantic and active during combats. <laughs> <laughs> but that fits, totally. Yeah, it totally. It so fits his character, too. So, yeah. uh, I want you guys to bring Chan into a combat sometime, just please... Well, uh, we did, and he died, me. so... Well, well, to be fair, he can't die I feel again. Like dismemberment would still be a big issue for Chan, though. But who knows? Well, yeah, totally, but uh, it's not like he'll feel it. That might be part of the problem, though. So, on that note, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I won't let that happen because my first goal will never be achieved. <laughs> yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Um. So, do you have any final words, anyone? 
Uh, we didn't die. We didn't yeah. die. We didn't die. Uh, yeah, cool. Awesome. I'm like 2,500 off from level 6. Nice. Wow. I'm nowhere near that close. Uh, Oscar is going to have to find a sword trainer. Because... <laughs> yeah. getting, getting to level 3 requires uh, yep. like funding or money and... All kinds of crazy stuff, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. Yep. He's saving his pennies and he's uh Well I mean that would be meta, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yep. I got I gotta figure out some way to justify his uh -huh. becoming what is it? A three is like one of the best people in the sector. Yeah, a three is sector wide, like top class level. Yeah, there might be um, like a handful of you that exist in the sector. Yep. Nice. And then four. You still won't hit anything. I think like four it. is like quadrant of the galaxy, and then five is like the galaxy. Like you are literally Yoda. It would take so long to get five, like level ten. Good lord. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, it, it, the experience ramps up. Like it does. the magnitude of things you accomplish. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually a pretty steady. Yeah. Yeah, like, and also the fact that I give session experience kind of yeah. uh, accelerates yeah. that a little bit. Uh, but in addition That's to that, true. like when you get to those level, like when you like level six plus is the part where like you guys can start building your own factions and they can start accomplishing goals for you, right? Like mm -hmm. you can have a goal is like guide my faction to defeat this or to gather this resource, and then like I'll make some rolls and then I'll just be like, yeah. They farm some XP for you. That's how factions. Sweet. That's how factions basically work. Speaking of factions, <laughs> yes, I still need to have a conversation with Oscar about some stuff that I found out like almost a year ago in game. Now, oh, he's, he's got to talk to you too. Yeah, so. don't worry. There's oh, yeah. going to be some talking um, next session. I think that this was this session was punctuated by a fair amount of combat, and next session will be punctuated by fair amount of role play so we, yeah. we got to figure out if fortune fortune and gogo -Go and fisher want to help oscar rule raimondi <laughs> <laughs> and or die trying and, or and die we... trying yes <laughs> okay we'll see cool yeah I, I gotta talk to you about a possible business venture well that has to do with the newfound element called red five well mm -hmm. add those to your character sheet so you remember them yep. next week yeah and yeah, uh if I don't see if I don't talk to you guys in a few minutes, I'll see you next week. Yep. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Yeah. Adios. Oh. Good game. Well. What? I'll wait till what? Um I'm because of what's going on with my Moving. work stuff, I, I don't know what's going on yet in the next two weekends. Okay. I'll Good be see. fine after Ju July. Right. Like the first of July I'm fine, but before that I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay. Give us so a I'll video. let you know when I know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for showing up. It's been great. It's been fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed yourself. As always, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask. Um, contribute. Uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. If you have any comments, feel free to leave those as well. You can always do the following and the subscribing and all the other fun stuff that happens with social media. Um... And that's all I got. Appreciate it. Hope you all had fun. I'm going to sign off now. Toodaloo!